Hello ma'am, my name is Dhawal Pandav. I am from collegedunia.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series which is called Thoughts on Education where we interview with the various dignitaries such as owners, VCs, principals and HOD. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief information about yourself. Ma'am. Thank you so much. I am uh, Professor Nita uh, Patil. I am the Vice Principal of Manipin Nanamji Women's College and I am also the Head of the Department of uh, Food and Nutrition. And I have been working here for the last 30 years. And I have had a very good journey over here. I have published papers, I have presented papers and uh, I have participated in many conferences as well. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience now. So my first question is, uh, you have held key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. What keeps you connected with the education sector and how has been your experience so far with this institute? So uh, basically uh, teaching is actually something which is very exciting for me because we meet new students, we keep getting new batches, we see the enthusiasm for the students, we learn from the students. Every generation which comes forth teach also teaches us something. So that is something which keeps, keeps me motivated for continuing to teach and be in this education field. Being the HOD in uh, Food and Nutrition Department of Manipin Nanapati Women's College, what are your goals and responsibilities towards these students? Yes, so being the head of the Department of Food and Nutrition, uh, apart from teaching the regular syllabi of the university, we make sure that we have many activities. We celebrate the National Nutrition Month, which is Poshan Maha. We follow the uh, directives given for topics by the government. We use and run various programs. There are demonstrations, there are competitions, there are experts invited to the department. So this year also in the Poshan Maha, we had almost seven activities throughout September. How does the curriculum of Manipen Naravati Women's College ensure students are being prepared for the future? So at our college, uh, our principal is motivating and the management is also supporting the fact that we should have extra add-on courses for the students and therefore the Department of Food and Nutrition offers skill development course and add-on courses which will help the girls to start something on their own. Our syllabus is also something which is talking of entrepreneurship. So we train the students to become self-sufficient if they can pick up what is taught to them. What do you see as the greatest strength of Manipen Nanavati Women's College? Our strength is that our students are supported for their fees. Our principal is very generous in giving concessions for fees, installment facilities to fees. We make sure that no student is turned out of the college due to the socio-economic problems. Also, we make sure that all our students get the support for if they are working students, we have certain policies for them. We do all these things and therefore a girl who comes to us in the first year does not leave or rather very rarely few will leave till they get their graduate degree. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students? To the current youth and aspiring students, I would like to say that your generations are ones which are facing a lot of changes in the society. A lot of social media, a lot of distractions I would say. The, all those things you hear from your teachers who say we never did this. But please remember that try to stay focused on your studies and be very very regular, learn and make goals for yourselves to grow. It was a pleasure talking to you and interviewing your thoughts on education ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you.